Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your computer on Windows 11 for video games, but also in general, uh, a lot of stuff are running on your Windows and you don't really need it and it's taking resources. So I'm going to show you what to do. So the first one is really simple. Just write Windows update and make sure that you have the latest update. Uh, so just check for updates. For the last, I think, six months, a lot of issue with Ryzen processor, even Intel when they launch uh, their uh, new uh, CPU. So make sure that you have the latest driver. It will help with scheduler and stuff like that. So super important to do that. Another thing is to write performance in your uh, search bar. Click over there and make sure that you're running adjust to, for best performance. Uh, it will help with your uh, speed of windows in general for sure if you have like a very powerful computer you don't necessarily need to do that but if you're using an old laptop or an old computer it will really help with your windows 11. i recommend to go to app go to install app and after that just look at all the app and games and whatever that you install on, on your computer and make sure that it's all relevant so if you don't use it just you install it we'll give you an example i was playing like uh, super people the battle royale and uh, after a month i didn't play the game i uninstalled the game but i saw that it uh, left a random launcher on my computer so just make sure that you you install those things also in optional feature make sure that you install stuff that you don't really need example here facial recognition windows hello if you don't use that just press you install and it will remove it so look at all those things and remove what you don't need go to app again and also in the startup app when you launch your computer you don't need all your app to launch first of all it will take more time to launch your windows and also it will take resources your ram when you will try to play a game because everything will be open over there so just look at all your app and just deactivate the one that you don't use and uh, it will really help with your ram also you want to write power plan in your search bar uh, click choose a power plan make sure that you use something like our performance or the balance one don't use the power saver one except maybe if you're running on your battery on your laptop but I know some people are, they're using a laptop they plug in the wall unplug and sometimes it just stays at power saver even when it's plugged in so super important to use high performance or balance now we're gonna go to the gaming section. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is deactivated. It's causing a lot of issue in a lot of games, so don't use that. Also in the capture, make sure that record what happened is at off, capture audio at off, and capture mouse cursor is at off. And the last one is your game mode. Make sure that game mode is at on. It's running very well now, game mode. Uh, four years ago, we, we said to everyone to deactivate it, but now it's pretty good, so I recommend to using it. And also go to the graphics section and go to um, change default graphics setting. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Also, you can use the window uh, game optimization uh, if you're playing in window mode. Honestly, in all the game, I always say to people play in full screen. Super important. Uh, so, but anyway, if you like to play window, you can definitely use this button over there. Now we're good with Windows. So the other one is your display setting. So right click on your desktop, click display setting. Make sure first of all that you're running the uh, native resolution of your monitor. So in my case, it's 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, you should see 1080p over there. I recommend also to go to advanced display. Make sure that you have the proper refresh rate. A lot of people, they're buying like a 144 hertz monitor, but by default, it's at 60 over here. So they don't have like the fluidity of the ref from a high refresh rate monitor. So super important to use the IS one. Also, I really recommend make sure that you update your uh, GPU driver, super important. So in the case of NVIDIA, just go to driver and checks for update like this. And you have pretty much the same thing with AMD. You really need to do that. Sometimes they give like 10, 15 percent boost in FPS when a game just released. So make sure that you uh, update your driver. Another thing that I recommend to people to download, it's CPU Z. So open this. Because a lot of people doesn't don't really know like what CPU that they have, uh, uh, the motherboard, the RAM they're using. So in my case, when I'm using CPU Z, as you can see, you see my Ryzen processor over here. 
Really important to know your model of uh, of the main board, so the motherboard, because I'm gonna show you. Uh, you really need to update your, for the latest driver. So in my case, it's the Aorus Master from Gigabyte. So when you go on their website, I really recommend take a look of the driver, make sure that you have the proper audio driver, your chipset also, the latest one. Uh, sometimes the chipset, you should go on the um, manufacturer um, of the CPU. So in that case, it's AMD, uh, because right now you see that the date is in, I think it's 13 April, and I think AMD re released something in December uh, last year. So sometimes it's better to go to on the AMD website, you will have something more recent, uh, your LAN driver, etc. And also super important, your BIOS, a lot of optimization uh, that AMD did. Um, I don't recommend to necessarily take a BIOS with a letter. Sometimes it's because it's in beta. So just use like, for example, this one, download it. I really recommend also make sure that you update your driver, uh, your BIOS in the BIOS. Don't use some sketchy uh, <laughs> software that your Gigabyte or MSI or ASUS will provide you because if your computer crash, your um, motherboard is done so don't do that really doing do it in the uh, bios by yourself also another thing that i want to mention in the bios super important use the xmp um for your ram so for an example my ram is a 3600 megahertz okay but if you don't use the XMP uh, profile in your motherboard, it will be uh, at 2,400 megahertz. So super, a lot of people doesn't know that. You really need to update it. I have a dedicated video to show how to do that. So after that in CPU-Z, you can see right now, I have like, it's almost like 1,800 by slot. So you have to multiply by two because I have two uh, slot and uh, it makes 3,600. So now you know that your RAM is running at the proper amount of megahertz one last thing and i recommend it's about your temperature so for my gpu i like to use msi afterburner but again i'm just get, provide you the concept and after that you choose whatever you want to use i don't necessarily recommend to be uh like after 75 degrees for me it's kind of hot so i recommend always recommend to go to the setting and just put a manual fan curve so for an example if you your cpu is always at 70 last thing that i recommend is monitor your um your thermals a lot of software that you can use hw info ms afterburner whatever that you want to use i like ms afterburner for my gpu because it provides me a lot of detail my fps input lag stuff like that but if you have issue with your thermals, I really recommend to go to settings and in the fan option, activate a fan curve and be more aggressive with your fan curve. So for an example, when your CPU is at 70 degree, maybe you should put your fan at 80 or 85% of uh, the speed of the fan of, on the GPU. It will really help with to cool down your GPU. Normally for a GPU, 75 degrees is okay you don't want to be uh, above that i know now with the new amd gpu uh, a lot of people are going at 80 85 and stuff like that but try to aim 75 maximum when you're playing a game and you will be fine i'm not gonna talk about overclocking i have another dedicated video for that but just move your fan curve and it will help a lot for your thermals for my cpu i really like to use argus so we're gonna open it so I'm using the main board fan control over here. So for example, here I have my pump. Always put your pump at 100% if you have a water cooling. And I add a manual fan curve on my Ryzen CPU. My Ryzen CPU was more uh, greedy on the thermals. Uh, without my fan curve, I always hit like 78 to 80, per uh, 80 degrees uh, when I was playing like Battlefield, something like that. With my fan curve now, I'm at like 72, 68. So uh, again, be more aggressive. For sure, it's gonna make more noise, but you will have a lot better thermal. And also your boost clock will be better on your CPU and GPU. You can use a lot of different software, honestly, like Gigabyte is making one, ASUS, MSI, whatever. But me, I really like the Arceus one. You have a lot of flexibility with the control of all your fan. So that's about it, guys, for my Windows 11 guide for games or other whatever you need to do. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.